Hi everyone, Lisa V here. I know some of you have our body dry brush chart and our face dry brush chart, but you still want some directions on how and why this works. When you dry brush, you get rid of dead skin. You're exfoliating layers of skin that need to come off because when you're washing in the shower, you end up taking your dead skin and, it's, and it ends up back in the pore. And when dead skin grows on top of dead skin, the new skin comes out and when the sun hits it, you get a spot. That's why dry brushing is so important. You start from the furthest area away from your heart. So I start at the bottom of my feet, my legs. I brush toward my heart because it's opposite the way the heart pumps. This helps with lymphatic drainage, circulation, oxygen reproduction. You'll, know a big, you'll notice a big increase in energy. In about two days, most people notice it, some people notice it right away. If you have eczema or psoriasis, you may have clogged pores over here or over here, and because you're not sweating evenly, your skin's breaking out in rashes here or here. So remember to evenly sweat, and to do that, you have to get your dead skin off. And I've learned one thing about uh, France, Sweden, a lot of the European countries, they dry brush their bodies every day. So always toward the heart, you start at your fingertips, and you brush toward the heart. Everything goes toward the heart. The stomach's a circular motion, the knees are a circular motion. I like a longer brush because I can get my back area. A lot of people have clogged pores on their back and they end up with psoriasis or eczema on their face or their legs, but the problem is the clogged pore on the back. So use your dry brush every day, completely dry before you shower because wet skin expands the pore and then the dirt ends up going into the pore. So get ready for a shower, dry brush first, turn on your shower, and then you use your soap and cleansers. Thank you.